in I was in Merrill Lynch, right? Right. And I was working, and the Holy Spirit said, you must go back in order to go forward. So I, I left, and I called my mom, and I began to talk to my mom, and she confirmed immediately. I said, hello. She said, hello. She confirmed exactly what God was saying. Pray and mama. And, right. And then when I, I said, okay, immediately at obedience, I went back. I gave my two weeks notice, and I said, okay, yes, I'm back. God is finally about to, you know, but God was trying to test me and test my faith. Mm -hmm. He had me in the wilderness almost two years. A lot of people like hearing about living from hand to mouth and things like that, but um, it's hard to actually live it. And, and actually reach out with your faith and actually say, hey, I really was. You know, I want to hear holding on from somebody who, who really holding on. You know what I mean? And um, my mom moved to North Carolina to start ministry. I stayed in Jersey with my, with my sisters who were left up there. And they were just so into me. Be encouraged. Here you go. I felt like I was a charity case. And they would say, you know, charity case, you know, God got things for you. And I'm going to tell you, Pastor, and, and it, 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 it's very important that the people of God hear this. God uh, will have people so into me. Um, my God sister one time gave me $50 and said, here you go. And when I got to church, the Lord said, give it. All oh, right. <laughs> give it all. <laughs> and I said, well, what am I going to do the rest of the week? Right. And I gave it. And then my sister would give me $10. Here you go. Just make sure you're working out today. Right. The Lord would say, give it. Yeah. My mother called me one day, and this is honest to God truth. She said, uh, there's, a, there's a check here for you. $3,000. I said, oh, huh? No, there's no check for me. She said, well, I'm going to send it to you anyway. And when I got the check, I was rejoicing. Yes, thank you, Lord. I needed it. <laughs> God told me to send her $1,000. Right. And right. show me how, and, and, and he had firm instructions and left me with about $120, $150 to myself. I said, Lord, what in the world is going on? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Anybody ever been on that same journey? <laughs> And, and um, he just was trying to trust me with money because of where he was getting ready to take Come me. On. And it's so important. If I gain everything, I drive all these nice cars and I have all these houses, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world Amen. and lose his soul? You know, you can't take none of it with you anyway. Lefty, I'm going to camp out there for a minute because okay. somebody's going, all right, and, and it's so true, but here's the principle of mm -hmm. it. It's called stewardship. Mm -hmm. And to whom much is given, much is required. Amen. And you will never be trusted with another man's stuff unless you can, or with your stuff, unless you can first be trusted with another man's stuff. And so a steward is a manager of all things. Mm -hmm. We really own nothing. So it's can we obey the instruction of God? Amen. And obedience is a whole nother level. Oh, yeah. Because it's usually it. when you don't feel like it. <laughs> Amen. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not comfortable being stretched. You don't get to birth until you get stretched. Amen. Uh, getting, having to love when you feel like slapping someone silly. You know, have, <laughs> having to give when you feel like holding on to Amen. it. Amen. But God's saying, I'm trusting you to see how you manage mm -hmm. what I put in your life. Amen. Amen. And so here God has this destiny, a predetermination for you because he's mm -hmm. already got a path. And the key is, will you resist or will you flow with it? Amen. And you're flowing with it because in the midst of adversity and difficult instructions, because God always gives you logical instructions for great manifestation. His ways are not man's ways. Mm -hmm. You're obeying. And Amen. that could not have been easy, though. Absolutely. Oh, no. It definitely wasn't easy. At times it was frustrating. But, um, you know, when my soul looked back and, and, and I wonder how I made it over, and, and every time the enemy try to uh, attack you with things to, to deter your faith, you got to remember the small things that God did for you just yesterday or just last week. Right. You got to, and, and, and slowly but surely it builds your faith. And already, whether you know it or not, each man is, is, is dealt a measure of faith anyway. So you have it. You just got to dig deep down on the inside and find it. And work it. So, right, and work it. <laughs> and work it. Mm -hmm. And remember, you said it, remember in darkness what God spoke to you in light. Absolutely. So pull out of you what God revealed to you when it doesn't look like it around you. Amen. And so here you are, because we've got like two and a half minutes. Okay. <laughs> and, and because I want everybody to know how you got lefty. Okay. So here you are following this faith walk, and it looks like you have stepped back, mm -hmm. but it's really a setup to step forward. Absolutely. So basically what happened was um, the Lord spoke for a year, California. That's all he spoke. We didn't know what it was, what was coming up. Got a phone call from my agent and said, uh, it's the Summer League, SPL, Summer Pro League, NBA sanction. Uh, got you on the team. I'm there. So I, here I am in Long Beach, California playing. I'm thinking, this is it. NBA, this is it, you know. <laughs> and a uh, coach from, a gentleman from the Harlem Globetrotters came up to me. He was the coach at the time. 
And he said, I was fooling around with the boy. He said, who, who was doing all of that? I said, that was me. And uh, he had a gentleman with him. And he said, you know, everything I do, you do. You know, I would do it. And he said, uh, hi, my name is such and such. He said, Harlem oh, Globetrotter. I said, OK, I, but I was thinking bigger things. Make a long story short, they, they um, didn't want to sign me. Certain things was happening where the enemy just was trying to make me believe it, opposite of what God was saying, opposite of what God was saying. Eventually, uh, God sent the release. Not only, and I'm going to show you how uh, to man, it, it, it's, it, it seems uh, impossible. Right. And in 83 years history of, of Globetrotter history, they've never signed a left-handed showman. Come on. So I'm, 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 I'm trying to set you up to let you feel uh, uh, the move of God. Um, they've never signed a left-handed showman. They do everything to the right. Not only did they sign me as a left-handed showman, the Lord had him name me Lefty. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to show you and just tell you you know, how, how good and how great God is. And also, if I may touch on this very briefly, um, the, all of the hurt and things with my, with my dad and everything, uh, you have to allow God to heal you yeah. in order to move forward. Yeah. Best relationship like, like a brother to me. God has healed oh, come the hurt. On. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Look I'm trying to God. tell you what God will do. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I, I hear you. But here's what God's saying, and I wish we could take hours and hours. <laughs> but here's what God's saying. You know, God will break the rules for you. God will change the system for you. God will make you the prototype. Amen. And, and, and restoration always means coming back to the original condition. And if you will, my definition of really standing strong and endurance, endurance is doing whatever it takes to finish strong. Mm -hmm. And that means whatever it takes, God, I might not see it, I might not feel it, but I know the destination. Amen. And I will become, I will do, I will have, I'll be consummated in the character of Christ, all that you said according to your word. And I don't know what the omega is. You're in the middle. You've, you've gotten past the beginning. You're in the middle. But God is the God of the final word and the conclusion of the matter. And restoration means that God's going to turn around what the enemy meant for bad, that Amen. things that were broke, things that looked like they were impossible, just let God get involved in the situation and see what is about to happen. There is nothing too difficult for your God. And you say, but you don't know what I've gone through. It doesn't matter if he can do it for Lefty, if he can do it for me, and he might use a different method or do it a different way. But whatever God has promised you shall come to pass. Amen. And Lefty, it's only the beginning because all the story has a purpose. Mm -hmm. A great prophet said to me one time, he, he basically declared the word of the Lord and gave a path that I didn't want to hear about. Everything around you will be shaken. I'm like, take that word back. <laughs> Please, in Jesus' name. He said, but you will remain, and everything will fall. He said, but you will remain standing and you will emerge with strength. And he went on and was preaching and he had read my mail. He said, but don't waste your trial. And I came to tell you, no matter what the process, the extreme place in your life takes you, don't ever waste the trial. There's purpose to all things. It might not be God sent, but it will be God used. And God will use Amen. everything in your life. It's going to turn out just the way he said. And let me, I'm grateful. It's only the beginning for you. I Thank love you. Thank you so much. You are a